This tutorial will cover the basics of navigating the Floor Plans tool in Planning Pod. We'll start from the Events Dashboard, where you'll always begin by clicking into an event and selecting the Floor Plans tool. From here, you can add a new floor plan from scratch, or you can import a floor plan from a template. We'll go ahead and add it from scratch. You'll need to add a name, dictate the canvas width and length, Keep in mind that that size needs to include the entire space that you're going to be designing for. So make sure you use the widest point of your room or space and the longest point of your room or space when calculating this. From here, you'll land on the canvas where you'll create your floor plan. On the left, you'll see the first option is edit name slash canvas. This is where you can edit the information that you just entered, the size of the canvas or the name of the floor plan. The setup instructions option that's next to that will give you the opportunity to enter in information, details, uh, any kind of special notes that need to be produced with this floor plan to let people know how to set this up. When you're finished, just click save. The keyboard shortcuts is a great thing for you to refer back to if you're trying to become more efficient with building your floor plans. You'll notice it gives you some quick tips on how to use your keyboard instead of having to navigate and press multiple buttons in order to complete something. Things like uh, shift plus a mouse click to select multiple elements. Um, you can also drag and drop to select multiple elements. You can use control or command copy and paste. Um, so control C and control V to copy and paste items. You can zoom using your mouse scroll wheel or if you're using a trackpad you can use your gestures on a Mac. Um, you can move the entire floor plan by clicking alt and then dragging the floor plan around. The next option will be your export options and then a delete button. On the left side of our screen you'll notice that um, this is where you'll pull things elements from the library to add into your floor plan. Tables, food trucks, doors, walls, uh, rulers, all sorts of different things you can add on there. Um, you'll notice that when you have something selected, you'll get a dynamic menu on the top as well to edit those items once they've been added. Make sure to check out the individual floor plan elements article and video so that you can learn more about exactly how each individual element works. The next tab is gonna be your attendees tab. And then the last one will be your room. And that's where you can actually outline your room or upload an image. On the top of your screen, you're going to see a variety of options, but on the right side, this revert move is probably one of the most important. If you accidentally get something out of line, you can use that to get it back in line very quickly. And then the expand floor plan option will give you just more design space. So depending on the size of your screen, that's a really valuable tool. If you're dealing with attendees in your account, you'll see that you have a empty seats versus filled seats option here to tell you what's going on. Your view filters. Um, and you'll also have the ability to show table numbers, hide table numbers, show uh, the table clear areas, which are kind of like your service areas around your tables. We have the option to um, put a snap to grid here so that your lines are nice and clean when you're um, designing. Um, you can choose to show the actual grid. These are one foot by one foot squares. And then you can also switch this to metric if you uh, don't want to use the imperial measurements. Now let's say that you're moving things around and you drag your floor plan or, or uh, make it too small or too big, you can use the reset button at the lower right hand corner to reset your floor plan. The last item I want to point out is that the main menu will collapse itself when you open the floor plan to give you more design space. Simply click on the little icon to expand that again if you want to go and navigate back to your events and see those full words. For more details, visit us at support.planningpod.com or youtube.com forward slash planningpod.